Hi, Amy Jo here on day 19 of the 14 day challenge of Stop It. And today I had an interesting uh, moment of like lessening uh, a lesson in words and the way things are going. I don't know, uh, probably a lot of you uh, know that Burt Reynolds is, was for years my dad's best friend. He, we hadn't really seen him in a, quite a while, but that feeling of, oh my gosh, you'll never see him again is pretty huge and hard to take. Anyway, I was doing a class, class ran long, and where I would normally have a half an hour in between, I hadn't left that open, and so I went straight from one class to the next, and someone was desperately trying to reach me, and the, my phone kept ringing and ringing, so I went in and, and um, turned it off in the in the middle of the class, and so then when I went in and listened, my mom had left me a message letting me know that Burt Reynolds had just passed away. And I'm already starting the next class of just turning it on. So I'm sitting there thinking to myself, don't cry, don't cry. And what I found was that those words are 1000% impotent. You can't say don't cry. The whole focus is cry. And so I said, stop it, stop it right now. Be happy, be happy for him. Be happy that he'd been in a lot of pain and he's not now. He, you know, he was a stuntman for years and the last time I saw him interviewed, he had said that, you know, he, that he was really, really hurting. Anyway, my great, or my grandmother lived to be 102 and when she was in her early 90s, she reached over and touched me in the hand and she said, I sure hope you never live to be this old. <laughs> and that kind of stuck with me. Bert wasn't old. I, I don't know how old he was, maybe 81, 82, something like that. Um, but like I said, I'd seen him in a lot of pain and I'd seen him talking. And so I was like, be happy for him. He's with his mom and dad. He's this and that. And I'll tell you what, it stopped me in my tracks. I didn't have that big burst of grief that was coming. It really was going to hit me. And I, and the words don't cry could not handle it because the focus was too much on what it was that I didn't want. And the word not, or no and not, as I had, have said before, at least in the Power of Words classes, they're just, they're just a, um, a diffuser word. And you can't use a diffuser word against a word that's really powerful. Um, so, you know, if you wanted to say no flowers, then people probably won't send you flowers because the word's not big and heavy. It doesn't have a lot of volume to it. But if you say no, if you say no war, it doesn't stand a chance. It's throwing an ice cube into a volcano. There's just no, there's no power behind the word no. So anyhow, I just thought I would share with you just a little food for thought to think about how it is that you're facing down your issues. If you are, you know, having a problem with uh, not having enough finances, you know, look at the way you're choosing to speak about it and how you can say, I am improving my, I'm in looking for ways to improve my finances instead of telling people I'm broke. I don't have any money. These words will do nothing but get you caught and stuck where you were. Anyhow, I'm outside enjoying the flowers and the little lights turning on in my yard at this dusk hour. I thought it was very pretty. Anyhow, um, hope y'all had a great time. I'll talk to you tomorrow. It seems like I'm doing pretty good. Bye-bye. <laughs>